Um, so let's, to, for the end, I wanted to switch over to you, kind of this larger, larger conversation that you are addressing, and that's the Civil War in the West. Um, now, as I'm 90% sure most of our listeners, subscribers are aware of, like Megan Kate Nelson has done some very active work on the subject matter, and there's been some pushback against how important really is the West. Um, so let me play devil's advocate. I'm, I'm going to put on my Gary Gallagher app personality and say, Kevin, all the stuff that you say, it is great, but does it really matter? Yeah, and, and I'll preface this by saying I have a great deal of respect for Gary and Megan too. Um, and and I, I enjoy the, the back and forth between them. Uh, and I think there are virtues to both sides of the argument. Um, mm. So in response to Gary Gallagher, you could say, well, it's actually, he, I think he has a compelling point that the, that the battles in the Southwest during the war itself aren't as significant as everything that comes before and everything that comes after. Um, I'm really interested in how this region becomes a Southern place and how that shapes the trajectory of the, of the antebellum debates over slavery and ultimately how it shape, shapes secession itself. Um, I am interested, of course, in the Confederate invasion of New Mexico. It's, it's certainly an important part of the book, but um, uh, I, I concede the point that that invasion wouldn't have ultimately swung the tide of the war. Nonetheless, I'm definitely on, on um, or I definitely think Megan makes some great points about how significant that invasion was and everything that came from it in shaping the Southwest itself. Hmm. Um, so if we take the Southwest on its own terms, um, this, was a, this was a cataclysmic event that forever altered the balance of power in the region. Um, and, and I think that's why I ultimately want to understand you know, the, the Southern geopolitical objectives that led to this moment, to this culmination in the war itself with the invasion, and why I want to understand the, the consequences of that moment um, and how the West sort of retained some of its Southern influence long after the Confederacy collapsed. 